Hey YouTube, how we doing today? Well, we got another great book review for you. Honestly, this one I could not wait to get my hands on after watching Admiral McRaven's commencement speech at the University of Texas go viral. Stay tuned because this is an awesome freaking motivational little book. I gotta get a cameraman one of these days to help, you know, these little intro videos from my comfy camo chair. But anywho, today we're gonna be talking about make your bed. I know, it sounds ridiculous. An admiral from the Navy wrote a book called Make Your Bed. First thing I'm gonna tell you to do, because honestly, I'm too lazy to do it, go out there and do a YouTube search on Admiral William McRaven's name you're gonna see his hellacious motivational speech at the University, the University of Texas commencement. I love his concept. If you wanna be successful, get the simple things done. Accomplish a task. When you get up in the morning, make your bed. Now you've accomplished a task. Go to the next task, accomplish that task. Go to the next task. It's not that hard, you know? To be successful, you've got to start somewhere and keep moving forward and accomplishing goals and accomplishing goals and accomplishing goals. You're gonna fail. Trust me, you're gonna fail. I, I mean, I have found more ways that don't work than I have found things that I actually do in my life. But I've tried to learn from every single one of them. I just, I have. Failure teaches you something. Success really doesn't teach you anything. Okay, it, it just doesn't. It says, on this day, you were better than this person. On this day, you were lucky enough to do this. Failure teaches you something about yourself. Failure teaches you to look inside here and go, do I have the drive to keep going forward? Now, what I like is in his speech, basically, he had um, <coughs> 10 little points, okay? And this is it, broken down as easy as I can for you. Remember, start each day with a task completed. Find someone to help you through life. That's critical. I, I gotta tell you honestly, since I found my better half, things are starting to fall in place. It just, it makes life easier when you find someone to help share your burden. Respect everyone. That's something I'm beating into my kids. I don't care. Race, religion, color, creed, whoever you are. Rich, poor, fat, skinny, male, female, trans, bi, I don't know, gender fluid, gender neutral, whatever these new freaking terms are. I teach my children. You respect everybody until they prove themselves not worthy of your respect. Know that life is not fair and that you will fail often covered that one too you know but if you take some risks you've got to take risks in order to succeed in life step up when times are toughest face down the bullies lift up the downtrodden and never ever give up if you do these things maybe you can change your life for the better and maybe the world you know it's something I'm, I'm teaching my kids and I'm gonna make them read this book you can't change the world without changing your little corner of it. If you can leave that person you're meeting with a good feeling about you and a good sense about you, maybe you've changed somebody's day. You know, um, when I've seen people who are just out of it and down and beat down, I've stopped and I've actually talked to them. You know, I've tried to help do my best to help change mindsets. Because there's been point in my life, you know, before I met my better half, I was dating someone who I thought was it, thought was the one, thought was this is everything. And she was a freaking wolf in sheep's clothing. Stole everything from me. Kicked me out, brought me back, kicked me out, brought me back, kicked me out, brought me back. I am not exaggerating. Five times in ten days, I was thrown out of where I was living and I was brought back within hours. Five times. 
because she couldn't be truthful. I've lost every single thing I've owned. I've had my bank accounts cleaned out. I've had people turn their backs on me when I was stupid. And, you know, it took somebody helping change my mindset. I am privileged that there's people in my life that I've considered life-changing for me way back in when, when I was in the military. You know, because I got out in the 90s, so, you know, for me, that was a while ago. That I'm still friends with, and I still interact with. I'm privileged to have one who's working with my company. You know, my former NCO is now an employee of my company. So, I gotta tell you honestly, after I saw his YouTube speech, <coughs> I did more looking into him. The, the guy's a monster, all right? He, 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 he's a monster, he's a motivator, he's a teacher. Go watch his commencement speech. You might be able to learn something. Read the book. It's going to help change certain aspects of you. But that's it. This one, too, gets five-star recommendation from me. But moving on. <laughs> so if you're a first-time viewer of any of these videos and you're watching my happy fat ass sit here talk to you about a book, thank you for spending some time with me. Thank you for watching this video. You guys should be seeing a symbol pop up. I believe it's going to be down here. Go ahead and click on that if you're not subscribed and click on the little bell notification that's next to it. That way you will not miss another video that we post. You will get notified. Somewhere over here, you're going to see two videos pop up. One of them I'm going to choose. Hopefully you might like it. And the other one YouTube's going to pick for you. But that's it, guys. Please remember, like, share, subscribe. Leave whatever comments you'd like down below. And thank all of you so much for watching this video. Have a great day, guys.